Hello viewers, I am Dr. Sanjeev Upadhyay from THB College, going to discuss an important topic for undergraduate and postgraduate students who are under COVID-19 pandemic situation. This video lecture series is initiated by Geological Society of Assam. On behalf of Geological Society of Assam, I am going to discuss affinities of echinodermata. As you know, the phylum echinodermata includes a variety of exclusively marine organisms, basically living on the shore but mostly on the bottom of the sea. These organisms are known from very ancient time. The term echinodermata was given by Jacob Klein in 1734. From this video lecture, the students can learn the affinities with hemichordates. That means the affinities of echinodermates with hemichordates and affinities of echinodermata with chordates. The hemichordates, chordates and echinoderms, all these three groups are deuterostomes. major divisions of the bilaterians. Let us have a look on the affinities of echinodermata with hemichordate. Resemblances with adult hemichordates Both adult hemichordate and account arms have interocellular coelom, which is divided into three different parts filled with seawater to serve hydraulic mechanism. The hard vesicle and glomerulus of hemichordates are considered homologous to dorsal sac and axial gland of echinoderms. Both hemichordates and echinoderms have common habits. They have common ecological nickel and they have remarkable power of regeneration. They have similarities in arrangement of their coelomic cavities and early embryogenesis. These are the similarities between adult hemichordates and echinoderms. The larval hemichordates also have certain resemblances with echinoderms. The major resemblances of larval stages of hemichordates and echinoderms are larvae of both groups are small, pelagic and transparent as well as oval. Echinoderm larva is a bilateral insect which is similar to the larval stage of hemichordates. The process of development in both of these groups, the hemichordates and echinoderms of the coelom itself. Blastopore becomes anus and digestive tract in, is complete with mouth anus and have same parts.
though the hemichordates and echinoderms are similar in both adult stages as well as larval stages but certain differences exist between echinoderms and hemichordates at early stages echinoderms have a bilateral larva which later transforms into a radial shaped organism in case of echinoderms there are tube pits and their bodies are covered with skeleton made up of calcite which are absent in hemichordates the hemichordates have gill slits and a rudimentary notochord dorsal and ventral nerve cords found in hemichordates are absent in echinoderms affinities of echinoderms with chordates let us have a look into the similarities and dissimilarities between echinoderms and chordates the similarities between echinoderms and chordates are they both so bilateral symmetry at any stage of their life cycle both chordates and echinoderms are deuterostomes which whose blastopore develops into an os both chordates and echinoderms exhibit radial cleavage which is intermediate they develop through three germ layers they develop a true body cavity known as cilium in both chordates and echinoderms the sexual reproduction is the main form of reproduction differences between echinoderms and chordates echinoderms have a radiating arrangement of parts and a body wall stiffen by calcareous pieces that may protrude as spines where is the chordates are the animals having at least at some stage of development a notochord dorsally situated central nervous system and gill slits differences in habitat Echinoderms exclusively live in marine habitat while the chordates live in all biomes symmetry an important difference between echinoderms and chordate is their body symmetry in adult echinoderms they so a radial symmetry body while the chordates so a bilateral symmetry body nervous system the echinoderms have a nerve net without any central point but the chordates have a central nervous system which is the major controlling part of the body there lies differences in skeleton also in echinoderms a mesodermal skeleton is developed which is made up of calcite and is known as ossicles whereas in chordates they have an internal skeleton made up of bones and cartilages 
both the ecandoms and chordates are also different from locomotion point of view in case of ecandoms they have tube feet for their locomotion while the chordates use legs fins or wings for locomotion so let us draw a conclusion from this discussion the ecandoms are a phylum of animals with radial symmetry body they are non chordates and they don't have a notochord or a central nervous system the ecandoms have a nervous system which is made up of nerve net the chordates on the other hand are another phylum of animals which includes the vertebrates they develop a notochord and an internal skeleton made up of bones and cartilages both the ecandoms and chordates are deuterostomes and they show bilateral symmetry in any stage of their life cycle but the main difference between ecandermata and chordate is the presence of notochord and body symmetry these two books are basically followed during the preparation of this discussion so thank you viewers if you have any queries then you can mail me at upa_sanjeev@redipmail.com thank you